Okay, um, I went ahead and I um, put that last sleeve in. I finally got it um, laid out flat where I liked it, and then um, what I did is I overlocked, locked both of them. So this is basically what your bodice is going to be looking at right now. So two sleeves, your back, and then your two front pieces. So we're going to go ahead and move on, but I saw that I found this picture on um, Photo Bucket, and I don't even know what the movie's from, but I think you can see it. So you can see how, see how they have the sleeves here? She's got them all along here, but if you'll notice her uh, sleeve right here, she doesn't have this cuff. She's just got a, um, let me see if you can see better, if I come over here. She's got just a piece of lace around that uh, sleeve right here. But she's got the regular stomacher on right here and they've got like a little green garland that goes across here. So um, if you'd rather do that little garland across instead of putting the lace on the stomacher, you can. She's got um, jewels that go down the front of her stomacher. And um, as far as the trim around her entire um, outer gown, She's got some kind of a braided trim that looks like it's got a bunch of, um, I don't know, I want to say pearls or some kind of pearl design going around here. But you can see by um, looking at this, there's just so many different options. Here she's got the same type of sleeve with a ribbon around here. That could be, a, uh, uh, and here's her stomacher, and she's just got a maroon braid. She's got a maroon inner skirt, and she's got a maroon braid on the outside. This skirt is a lighter color sage green and it's got all kinds of beautiful designs in the, in the fabric down here. This one over here, she's got, oh my gosh, these are little roses. She's got roses uh, on top of a garland uh, trim and she's got uh, two different types of um, laces. She's got a fabric lace that comes down with a ruffle and then she's got uh, even um, more and more lace underneath so you can see that there's just a ton of designs that you can do on these outfits so let's go back to where we were we are at step number um, let me get the camera back around where the sewing machine is we are at step number 15 so what we're going to do is we're going to put this up here like this and since I've already finished off that um, uh, seam on the sleeve with a overlock, we're at the point where we're going to just sew them together. So the the easy what I found out last time when I did this, the best thing to do is line up your cuffs because everything else you can move around a little bit, but those cuffs you really do want those cuffs to match evenly. So. Um, Let's go ahead and do this side. So get those cuffs lined up, put a pin in it, okay, so line up the top of the cuff also. And remember you're going to be having a quarter of an inch seam, so get those lined up. This lace will just, we're going to overlock this too when we're done. So just match up your lace, lace pieces. Okay, now according to this instructions, they want all of your sleeves uh, seams, the shoulder seams, to be pressed towards the cuff of the um, outfit. So let's just line up those two seams in there. And get them pressed towards the press them towards the cuff. Put a pin in it, and then we will just go straight down the side. Now um, I've noticed on all of these they don't exactly fit all the time, so just go straight because we'll just trim off this. See how there's a little bit extra here? It happened to me every time so far, so. I, I just trim it off. It's not going to line up. It's just, it could have been the way I printed the pattern out or how I cut the pattern out. Could have been a number of things. So, anyway, let's just go back to our straight stitch. And let's put a seam up the side. 
Okay, so it's a quarter of an inch seam. So that when you get to that cuff, you're going to be going through a lot of fabric. So you may have to lift your machine up and get that under there. Or you can use your foot that's got that leveling device on it. You might want to try that if you don't want to try and force, force this through your machine. bottom pieces up. Okay, so let's see what we did here. Okay, so let's press forward, press forward. Okay, so let's take a look at it from the other side. before we do the overlock. I'm going to make sure it looks good. Okay, I was a little off here under the sleeve, but not too bad. <clears throat> but at least our uh, cuffs are lined up. That's the important thing. Because if you get your doll and you try this on her, you want to make sure those cuffs line up because those are something you're going to be able to see push this back so you can see what I mean. Okay, so let's get that around here. Turn this under. Okay. So that is how it's going to fit on Kyla. So, see that? Okay, so remember when I told you those didn't match up correctly? We're just going to trim this even when we sew on the bottom of the <clears throat> sew on the bottom of the um, skirt. So I'm okay with that. I think it looks all right. It fits all right. The sleeves fit good. So we can go ahead and turn that back around and go ahead and do an overlock on that. So. Um, if you want to trim some of that bulk out of there, you can you can give it a try, but you really don't have to. But if you want to, you can go right ahead and do it. I haven't trimmed any of it off myself on any of these dresses yet. But because um, to tell you the truth, there's only a little bit you can cut off because most of the bulk is um, beyond that cuff point. So let's go ahead and um, put our <clears throat> excuse me. Let's go ahead and put our uh, Um, other pressure foot on, which is going to be our overlock. Okay, and let's go to your overlock stitch. And I'm going to lower it down because I've only got a quarter of an inch seams. So I don't want to use that big of a seam. So I'm going to go down to 4.0 and then I'm going to overlock this all the way to the sleeve. your pressure foot and come forward on that.
Okay, so that overlock on the lace is also going to help you secure those raw edges on the lace. So um, we're going to go ahead and go all the way straight down to the bottom of the lace. It sort of tends to scrunch it up a little bit too, which is fine. Okay, when you get to the very end, you're going to want to do a couple back spaces so you don't have any strings that aren't going to stay. That means that they're going to keep raveling. So there you go. So we did that. Okay. So that is, I left a little bit here because I knew I was going to cut some of that off when we add the, um, the bottom part to the um, outfit. So let's wait until we add the bottom skirt before we start trimming anything off so we know what we're doing and how we want it to fit. But um, we, we are going to even out those stitches either with our um, next seam or um, when we add the skirt. Well, actually, we can do it now because it's going to happen anyway. So where are my scissors? Okay, well I have to find my scissors before we do. But basically what we're going to do is we're just going to ease that in a little bit to get a smooth finish on there. So that when we add our skirt on the bottom we're not dealing with that um, uh, edging. But I'm going to do the other one off camera and then when we come back I'm going to go ahead and we're going to start attaching the um, uh, skirt part to the bottom of this outfit. Okay.